The goal of our labs here is to get product to market above everything as safely as possible. And we also support a ton of R&D work here. My name is Kurt Siever, and I'm the test lab manager here at Fox. With Jordy out of town this week, I got the chance to take a look into the Fox test lab and see what kind of extensive testing is done and what these products go through before you'd ever see them on a bike at a race. So lab one is our original lab. It's the oldest lab. What it's doing is supporting testing that's been established. So we have an established test. The protocol does not change. Um, it's something that can be repeated and it's ex executed the same way each time. So lab one supports that volume of testing. It's really our workhorse. The most product goes through that lab. Lab two is our R&D lab. We built that for just pure research and development. It will support spillover in our really busy times, but that's dedicated to research and development. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of interesting stuff happens in there. And this lab here is a matter of days old. So we've just finished this lab and this will just support test expansion, moving more product through our test lab. Every product that we put out there needs to go through that test lab to make sure it's structurally sound and safe to ride. And um, so before anything hits and it gets given to the athletes or any racer or any uh, customer out there, you know, it's been through that test lab and um, we're confident and we know it's safe to let people ride. So not only safety, but also durability that we're going to get the runtime out of it. The customer's going to get enough hours out of their stuff before it needs service. So uh, we'll show you a couple tests and, and um, they're, they're pretty cool actually. I think they're the fun ones to look at. So basically what we did is we set up um, data acquisition on a racer's bike years ago and sent them down the Maribor World Cup course, which was a really rough course at that, was, at that time and um, still is. And um, basically took all that data and then you can take that data and basically plug it into hydraulic actuators and run forks or shocks at the same velocities and speeds and displacements as you would uh, as the bike, as the fork or shock would be when it's on the bike. So it's pretty fun to watch. You're actually watching someone's like smash race run, just sitting there in a cube going up and down watching the fork move. So they may run that for like 72 hours straight. So it's like someone doing a World Cup downhill run for 72 hours. Testing is rigorous. Certain tests will run for 72 hours. That is one, it's a one minute segment of very aggressive trail riding that's looped for 72 straight hours. So that shock never takes a break, it never has a chance to cool down, nothing. So it's, it's exhaustive. Some of our tests are going to a, a defined cycle count, right? Um, but then we do have tests like a, a burst test where we'll put a shock in a very large dyno. We may, we may even hydraulically lock the shock out so it can't move and then we'll collapse that shock and intentionally break the shock to see, we're trying to see initial points of failure. Um, and those, those are exciting tests, yeah. The more fun ones are when you get to just smash something till it breaks. <laughs> That's when everyone calls us over to the lab. You gotta see this, man, watch this, you know? And then you get to go in there and watch it blow up, blow something up, or just smash something completely, which is awesome. Like, we're just gonna push on it till it crumples, you know, so. It's definitely um, a super important part of what we do here. Um, and it's it's vital to making sure we're putting out products that are that are strong and safe and durable. After years of experience in these test labs, I, have, I am extremely confident in our product. If you see what product goes through in these labs and how far we stress suspension, it's, it really gives you confidence when you're out there on the trail. Between the test lab and the best people in the world pushing as hard as they can on our products, we're gonna, we're gonna deliver a good product to you. 
It's been really cool going from a couple weeks ago getting a look into the RAD collaboration project to now seeing how the test lab functions this week. All of these pieces just in my mind inspire that much more confidence when you're out on the trail to know just how much testing that your suspension has been through. So. As always, let me know any topics you'd like covered in future episodes. This really is a pretty unique opportunity we have right now to cover some different topics that we normally wouldn't cover if we were just at the World Cup races instead. So leave a comment below if you'd like. We'll, we'll definitely continue to be looking through those. And Jordy will be back next week, so we'll see you then.